Thin films are extremely important to many technology-based industries. They are widely used to passivate materials, insulate layers between conductors, create diffusion barriers, and they are used as hardness coatings for scratch resistance. Films typically used in thin film applications range from a few atoms to half a millimeter in thickness. To properly perform their functions, thin films must have the proper thickness, composition, roughness, and other characteristics particular to their application. These characteristics are measured both during and after the fabrication process. Optical techniques are usually the preferred method for measuring thin films. The two most common optical methods are spectral reflectance transmittance and ellipsometry. In this video, we'll demonstrate the basics of the spectroscopic reflectometry with the NanoCalc Thin Film Reflectometry System. Here's what you will need to perform a typical measurement. The NanoCalc system with fiber optic cable, the NanoCalc handbook, NanoCalc software CD, a special reference step waiver, the USB cable, a NanoCalc single stage, and the power supply. Your software CD will be marked with a serial number and the specific version for identification. First, insert the software CD into your computer's disk drive. Open the disk and locate the file nanocalcsetup.exe. Double-clicking this file opens the NanoCalc Thin Film Measurement Wizard. Click Next to continue setup. You will be asked to read and accept a license agreement. Select Accept. You'll now be asked to enter your user information. After completing this form, click Next. Select the destination to install the NanoCalc software and then click Next. You'll now be given the option to place an icon on your computer desktop. This is simply a personal preference. After deciding, click Next. If you are satisfied with all of the information displayed, click the Install button. Once installation is complete, you are almost ready to start measuring. The next screen tells you to first connect your NanoCalc before running the software. Click Next. Now click Finish and your NanoCalc software is fully installed. Now connect the NanoCalc to your computer with the USB cable. You can also connect the power supply. Connect the fiber optic cable to the NanoCalc and to the fiber holder on the stage. You can now switch the power on to your NanoCalc. Your NanoCalc hardware and software are now successfully installed, and you should be ready to make your first measurements. Open the software by double-clicking the NanoCalc icon. In the initiation window, click OK. Select the correct spectrometer type. In this case, we select the option for S2000, PC2000, PC104, USB2000, HR2000. You will also need to select the proper AD converter type. Select the ADC1000 USB. And finally, choose the appropriate USB serial number. Now click OK. You'll now be taken to the main software window. Right-click on the graph and select Return to Full XY Size. Now place the uncoated step of the reference step wafer onto the stage. In the main software window, click Continuous On and click Reference. You can now see the first intensity spectrum from the uncoated silicon on the step wafer. Adjust the distance from the fiber to the sample for a maximum intensity spectrum. Typical distance is about 2 to 5 millimeters. 
To avoid overflow, you can change the integration time manually for an intensity of 80%. Now click Continuous Off and save this spectrum. Once the spectrum is saved, click Clear and then click Reference. A new adjusted reference spectrum will appear. Click on the Edit Structure button. Set the Limits Mode to User and the Estimated Value to 50. Now click OK. Clicking Measure brings up a new, smoother spectrum. Now click Analyze. The measurement result of the first step will be displayed. Move the step wafer to the next step. Click Measure and then Analyze again. You'll now see the measurement result of this step. Repeat this procedure with the other steps and check the results with the estimated thickness. If the spectrum coincides with the analyzed spectrum over the full spectral range, then your results are accurate. We hope that this video has given you some insight into spectral thin film measurement. For more helpful videos like this one, be sure to visit spectroscopytv.com or look for the Ocean Optics channel on your favorite video website. And for more information on spectroscopy products from Ocean Optics, be sure to visit us online at oceanoptics.com.